Graduating from school can feel a little bit like getting led off the edge of a cliff, right? Like, okay, there's no more steps to follow. I hope you can figure out how to fly. And let's face it, it's not just graduation, right? Like there's all kinds of moments like this in life where it can feel impossible to know what to do next or what steps to take to get to whatever that dream is that you have for your future. This one time when we were on a road trip, we stopped in New York City and got to meet Jad Abumrad, the host of the podcast Radio Lab. And he told us about something that just blew our minds. It's this idea called the adjacent possible. It's an idea that actually has its roots in the formation of the universe, but it can also apply to how you're feeling right now. Check it out, this is what Jad told us. There's this theory in uh, evolution called the adjacent possible, which is that if you imagine like the primordial soup is full of all these chemicals, like uh, arsenic was in there, there's amino acids floating around, those things aren't gonna suddenly bump into each other and create a human being, you know, or even a flower. Like the, so it's not part of the possibility of that space to create the flower, you know. But you can take an amino acid and you can take a fat cell, you can slam them together. Suddenly you've got a cell and suddenly that cell has more possibilities. A two-celled organism and eventually an amoeba or something, I don't know. Um, so you have to ask yourself, what is your adjacent possible in some sense? Like right now you're starting out, you're in a way in your own primordial soup of dreams. But you have to think of your possibilities in both the most expansive and the most um, constrained. Like, okay, you know, I can't be Michael Jordan, but maybe I could go play in a pickup game, you know, and work on my jump shot or something like that. There is a way in which you always have to ask yourself, what is, what is possible right outside my border? Okay, so here's why I love what Jad was just saying. That last point he was making is key. You know, the adjacent possible is this idea that you can unlock any path by just taking, you know, one step towards something that's right outside your border. So we're not talking about taking giant leaps, you know, we're talking about taking five minutes to do some free throw practice or something. But when we're facing big life choices, it's easy to get caught up in, you know, where you think you need to be years down the line. And thinking about how to actually get there can start to feel completely overwhelming and unattainable. And that's why it's important to remember that nobody takes just a giant leap and becomes the greatest accountant of all time or whatever it is. And there's a million small steps that it takes to get anywhere. And the most important step is always gonna be that one small step that's right in front of you right now. Because that is what will unlock your current adjacent possible and show you what options you have for the next step that you can take that will eventually build up towards that ultimate dream goal, you know, that fulfilling life that you've envisioned for yourself. And over the years on the road, we have met tons of people whose lives exemplify this. Like for Hamilton star, Christopher Jackson, he explained to us that it was the simple act of reading The Crucible that actually first ignited his love for theater and set him on his path. Or food and travel writer Suchetta Rawal, who has a dream job. But in college, she was studying finance. It was only when she began spending nights and weekends writing restaurant reviews that she was set on the path that she's on today. Or Ben Burt, who is the Oscar-winning sound designer for Star Wars. But it all started for him with making homemade sci-fi movies in a garage with his friends. Okay, so I just named a bunch of impressive people who ended up in really amazing places, but the point is, you know, not to get too caught up in thinking about where you're ultimately gonna end up. I mean, nobody on that list even knew where it was gonna lead when they were taking those first small steps. And honestly, for a lot of them, it was a bit of a random first step, you know, or action or just learning about something that might have seemed a little inconsequential in the moment, but in hindsight, you could see how that step led to the next step and the next step and ultimately you know these wild possibilities were unlocked so just focus on those first steps and they could be as small as just reading an interesting book or a little bit bigger like taking a class in something that you're interested in you know or you could start a garden or you could just simply ask somebody a question about something you know all of these things are just perfectly attainable things that you can be doing right now Sometimes we can get so lost in the weeds of where we could end up to the point where we forget to keep moving forward at all. And you know, it really only takes one small step to make yourself start to feel better about today. And it's good to remember that whatever small steps you're taking. <laughs> good girl. It's good to remember that whatever small steps you're taking, you know, they don't have to be final. You're not getting locked into that path forever, you can always pivot. So maybe you don't know 
where you're going right now. That's okay. You know, each small step that you take, whether it takes five minutes or five days or whatever it is, you know, you're not only gonna learn more about that thing, you're also gonna learn more about yourself and it's gonna reveal to you some more options you have for steps to take after that. But to get that learning started, you've just gotta get out there and just take that first step. So, what small step are you gonna take today? Let us know in the comments or leave some ideas for others to get the, the, the blah, 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 blah. leave some ideas to stir up some thoughts for others. If you're still unsure on where to start, then check out our new book, Roadmap. It is full of activities and ideas for how you can explore your interests.